Good morning children. Today we shall learn how to solve simple algebraic equations. Now we know that an equation is a mathematical statement which equates the two quantities. It shows the equality between the two quantities. We are constantly solving many equations every day without even realizing it. For example, Aman is 14 years old. His sister is 4 years younger than him. For this, we can calculate his sister's age. We are solving an equation here too. Say his sister's age is x. So x plus 4 is Aman's age. Now Aman's age is 14. So we can say x plus 4 is equal to 14. Now to solve this equation x plus 4 equal to 14 we need to eliminate 4 from the left hand side. So we will subtract 4 from the left hand side. Now as it is an equation we need to subtract 4 from the other side too. So we subtract minus 4 from both the sides and hence the equation becomes x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 14 minus 4. On the left hand side 4 minus 4 is 0 so they cancel out each other and thus we get x equal to 14 minus 4. Now 14 minus 4 is 10 so x is equal to 10. What does it mean? Well it means Aman's sister age is 10. So his sister is 10 years old. Now coming back to our solution look carefully how we solved it. We subtracted 4 from both the sides. It disappeared from the left hand side but it appeared on the right hand side as minus 4. So it appears as if plus 4 is removed from one side by putting minus 4 on the other side. Now let's take another example. Bhola opened a new shop near Chetan's shop. Chetan decided to keep the rate of the rise rupees too lower than the rate of the rise at Bhola shop. Suppose Chetan is selling the rice at rupees 21 rupees per kg. Then what should be the rate at Bhola shop? Say it is rupees A per kg. And the rate of the rise at Chetan shop is rupees 2 lower than the Bola shop. So it becomes A minus 2. Thus A minus 2 is equal to 21. Now here we have an equation A minus 2 is equal to 21. Now we need to remove minus 2 from the left hand side. So we add plus 2 to the left hand side and we also need to add plus 2 on the right hand side to keep the equation balanced. So the equation becomes a minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 21 plus 2. Now on the right side minus 2 and 2 cancel out each other as minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Thus a is equal to 21 plus 2 or we can say a is equal to 21 plus 2 which is equal to 23. So here we solved the problem and we got the value a is equal to 23 which means Bhola sold the rice at rupees 23 per kg. Now coming back to our solution, look again how we solved the problem. 
when we added 2 to both the sides of the equation, it disappeared from the left hand side but it appeared on the right hand side as plus 2. So we see minus 2 can be removed from one side by putting plus 2 on the other side of the equation. And you know this is true for all the four basic operations of math. Addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. So while solving a simple equation, when we remove a number from one side, it appears on the other side with opposite sign or operation we can say. Plus becomes minus, minus becomes plus, multiplication becomes division and division becomes multiplication. So remember children what we learned today about solving a simple equation. When we remove a number from the one side of the equation, it appears on the other side but with opposite sign or role we can say. For example, when we remove plus 2 from one side, it appears as minus 2 on the other side and multiplier becomes the divisor and vice versa. For example, when we remove multiplied by 2, it appears as divided by 2 on the other side. Same way, on removal, divide by 2 becomes multiplied by 2 on the other side. Or in other words, we can say when we shift a number from one side of the equation to the other side, we change its sign. Thus, to solve a problem a minus 2 equal to 21, we move minus 2 from left hand side to the right hand side and it becomes plus 2. Thus, a is equal to 21 plus 2 which is 23. This process of shifting a number from one side to the other side by changing the sign is known as transposition and when we use this method it is called transposing method. Also the value of the variable which we get by solving the equation is called the root of the equation. Now what is the root of the equation x minus 10 equal to 135? Here we need to find the value of the unknown variable x. We move minus 10 from LHS to the RHS and it becomes plus 10. So x is equal to 135 plus 10. Thus x is equal to 145. So we can say the root of the equation is 145. That's all for now. Bye bye children.